Welcome on and on to the second episode of this bonus series where we are creating a software to help mommy prepare the grocery, uh, list. The grocery list for me. <laughs> hmm, sounds like I'm getting the short end of the stick in general. Working first and then going to do the groceries. Anyway, the situation so far is this. By the way, I forgot to introduce ourselves. I'm Mike. And I'm Zoe. Yay! Anyway, these <laughs> buttons over here. They are here. They presently don't do anything, but we are going to have to now construct the list over here of all of the things in the dictionary that belong to the category fruit, or the category vegetables, or the category meats, etc. Okay? Okay. So, let's take a look. <clears throat> I don't remember anything about what we did, so... App manager, uh, clear categories, create categories. Okay, 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 I remember that. And uh, we need to change categories. So you want a public this one because it needs to be accessible from the outside. Public void, void set category. Kyogre category. Open around and request a category. Now I think it's just category. I don't quite remember. Uh, maybe it was not. An e e Should be up there. Button mm -hmm. has ah. space. Yeah. space. Space categories. Oh right. No wait. It won't be an enum. It will be an. In, uh, um. It won't be a string. It'll be a string. So a string category. No, just string. String and just C would be a right category. I guess is fine. C is fine. Close around. Open a squiggle save. Now let's do also something else. We're going to give it a default value of string dot empty. Yes. So save. Oh wait, it's not happy. Okay, never you mind. How's that? That's an empty string. Save. Okay, and now we need to go and check if uh, this string is contained in the dictionary of categories as a key. If it's not contained, then we uh, need to remove everything. So we're gonna need a clear um, items and create items, right? So let's mm -hmm. just simply copy both of these, paste them here. Now rename this one to items, just type items. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Call hold shift, copy, pasta, and pasta. Save. All right, now we're going to need a list of, okay, category buttons. There should be a list of item buttons. There isn't. Copy this into everything, paste it here, and just change this to item. Copy this, save. All right, now it's going to be paste paste this is all correct except not category container but item container so just type item here I think we have an item container yes list paste it here space is item and it's not k key um, okay we're gonna have to check this so let's think it through so here it basically goes throughout the dictionary and it needs to pick all of the uh, dictionaries with the item that we want. Therefore, create an items needs to request a string. So string and go C for category. Mm -hmm. Save. So instead of for each blah, 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 we're not going to do this. We are going to okay. do a for and hit tab twice. And we're going to go to the database script the groceries. Copy this, paste it here. And now square bracket C. Close square bracket. Save. Now, hmm, there's an interesting situation would here. Would I have to do dot count? Hey? Eh? Would I have to do dot count? Uh, yes, dot count. Good call, girl. Almost make an old man proud. Uh, so here you go. If, open round, C is different, exclamation mark equals, to empty string, so quote, quote. Close round, open a squiggle, and close it. And now cut this bit. Wait, there. 
and put it in here. Okay, perfect, save. So now we're going through the list of items within a certain groceries that we know exists. Okay, now mm -hmm. obviously we need to be not idiotic, meaning that we don't feed the incorrect string or something like that, but that mm -hmm. should be fine. Um, now you can cut these and paste them here, and then we'll see what happens. So there's the K key that's wrong. What we need is copy this, paste it here, and you need another square bracket, I, and close it. So the reason why there are two square brackets is because this square brackets is telling you which key of the dictionary you want. And because the dictionary is made of a key that's a string and an item that's a list, the list in and of itself is effectively a group of things. So this is the index for the list. So this is the index for the dictionary. This is the index for the list. That's why you have this weird syntax where it's square bracket and another square bracket. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So here's going to fruit. And here it's going to 0, 1, 2, etc, etc. Yeah. And if you recall, we've sorted them. Yeah. So they should be in alphabetical order, which should make it easier for mommy to find whatever it is that she needs to find. Okie doke. So, this should work. Uh, that's for creating. Now, clearing items will happen every time we create items, and that's fine. But if we create items with an empty string, right, then we just mm -hmm. clear them and we don't do anything else. We'll figure out how to clear. I'm not sure at the moment, right? Uh, there should be a current category, though. That's for sure. Uh, rather, not a current category, but a... Ah, yeah. We should have a current category. That's important. And mm. uh, that's it for now, I think. So, that would be a state. Mm, let's create some order here. So, square bracket, type header. Open around bracket. Open a quote, hit space, now three hyphens, minus, 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 another space, and now type all in caps, uh, state. No space, loads of hyphens. Just hold, hold it. Bit more. There you go. Space, quote. Close round, close square. Close square. Mm -hmm. So that's for the state. Now copy all of this. Paste. Oh, my bad. Uh, this is a uh, structure. And then another one. Call this one rules. Okay, now cut these. These are in structure for sure. Uh, these are also in structure. And instead, you're going to put a private, I think, string current category semicolon all right and actually let's give it a starting value of this save so that's good save now we have create categories and clear the categories all right I got no problems with these who calls create categories okay stop uh, that one is always fine, I think. Now, change category is set category. That's the one with string C. So the first thing you're going to say is copy current category, paste it here, go equals C. Save. Now, what we're going to do is instead of having this string C over here, we're going to delete this. And we're going to copy current category and put it right here. And here. Save. Right, so as long as the current category is not empty, and set categories does this, and then it also creates the item. So copy this, paste it here, semicolon. Say, all right, now we need to deal with this clear. We haven't done the end yet. So copy mm -hmm. this, paste it here, paste it here. Uh, custom button that's correct. Paste it here, paste it here, paste it here, and paste it here. Save done. The name C does not exist. Uh huh. This one is supposed to be copy current category, paste it here. Save. All right, so every time you set a category, you receive a certain string. Mm -hmm. When you do that, it will say this. Now, there's one thing I want to check first. I want to check that the current category isn't the one we choose. So the way it works at the moment, right, is the game is going to start with an empty current category. Yeah. So it's going to clear the items. Mm, actually, we should right here go create items. So copy all of this. 
uh, right here. Save. And we should probably also. Uh, no, wait, before we create the items, we're just gonna do set, and that's it. Copy this, paste it here, and put uh, quote, quote. Actually, you don't even need to say anything, save. Now, here you're gonna say if, open round, and you're gonna say C is different than empty, close round, open a squiggle, click hit enter twice and close it. No, 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 hit enter twice and close, save. This is fine for now, we'll figure it out. Now here you're gonna say if, and now current category equals equals C, close, open a squiggle, close. Now here you're gonna say C equals empty, semicolon. So what does this mean? If C is not empty, we receive a non-empty C, uh, a non-empty category. We're gonna yeah. check if it's already the same as the current category. This means we've already selected fruit, for example. Mm -hmm. So the fruit button will be in the selected status. If you then hover on the on the on the um, fruit button, you click it again. It's going to remove fruit. So how will it know to remove fruit? It will check that you've just sent it fruit again, but it already was fruit. Because it already was fruit, it's going to change what you sent it into empty. And then it's going to assign empty to current category. And then it's going to create the okay. uh, items. So all of this should work. But what we still need to connect is the custom button because on pointer click isn't pressing. So just say press. Open close around. Semicolon. Now we should probably also, ch yeah, I thought so. So copy this, paste it here, and say select it. Save. Hmm, there's a bit of an issue here, which we're gonna have soon and you'll see why. Uh, now press, now when we press, we need to know which ID we are, or rather we simply need to send it. So you're gonna say, well, it depends also if we are in the space category. Okay, so switch for space here. Tab, tab, space, hit enter, again. So if we are in the space category, save. If we're in the space category, we're gonna go to app manager dot script dot set category. Open around, ID, close around, semicolon. So you're sending your own ID, right? So if your mm. own ID is set to fruit or whatever, which should be set up right here when you set up the button. Okay, so all of this seems correct. So you send fruit, you receive fruit, blah, blah, blah. You do the thing. All right, so this should already work, but you will notice a small problem. So fruit. All right, so you see these have appeared? Yes. And that was green as well. But you see when I, when I hover it, it's all wrong? Yeah, it needs to be yellow again, right? Well, sort of. So, and when I go, it sort of doesn't stay selected. So that's something we're going to have to worry about in a moment. But there's also another problem, as we've noticed. So actually, let's hit play. Let's click fruit, and then let's hit all the words are there. P, and let's try and find out what is happening here. So, items. There they are, and there's all the buttons. Okay. So, does the item? Aha. So the items does not have a vertical layout group. That's basically it. So we're just gonna copy this component and paste it into the items as new. That's it. And this will immediately fix this problem. Wow. See? Yeah, and they're even ordered correctly because of sort. That's right. So you got apples, bananas, blackberries, blueberries, grapes, kiwis. Lemons, limes, mangoes, etc. If you click them, you'll notice that they don't do anything. Uh, there's one thing we need to check, though. I don't know that these have been set up. Hmm. So I think we probably made a mistake. Let's go take a look. Uh, there it is. Set a button, space, item. And I don't know. Everything is correct. We've already thought this through. It's just that this particular button doesn't do anything because when the space is item, it just won't. Won't do anything, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's solve the problem of the button misbehaving a bit. Okay. Um, so, 
if we are in space category, we want the buttons to be effectively toggles. So I'm going to show you something actually that's a problem. Oh no, maybe this will work actually. Fruit, vegetables, meats. So it works correctly. Yeah. It's already removing all of them, so it's acting as a toggle. Hmm. So, but I still like the idea of having the button actually be highlighted because that way it indicates what category you're in. There's also another option we could put a title in the category as well. Mm hmm. Hmm. Do we do titles? I still like the selection. Anyway, so if we're in the category, this needs to be a toggle. So having a boolean, probably, so go private bool toggled semicolon. Here say toggled equals false semicolon. And here you're going to say toggled equals opposite of toggled. So exclamation mark toggled. So if it's false it becomes true, if it's true it becomes false. But say that's actually insufficient. And the reason why this is insufficient is because well I'll show you. Uh, well first we need to actually make this work. So um, here you say if open not toggled exclamation mark toggled. Close and open a squiggle and close it here. Copy this entire thing and close it. Save. So all of the interactions don't actually do anything if you're toggled. Now this should work, but you'll see there's another problem. So now it's toggled. See how I can't do anything? I can still click it and make it go. Oh, there was an interesting problem. See? Yeah. So we need to ask here and go if not toggled, close round, open a squiggle, and it's going to be a change highlight state to hover. Save. Okay, so now it should work correctly, but there's still going to be a problem. I'm going to show you what it is. Toggle, not toggle, toggle, not toggle. Okay, so that's working correctly, but watch. Yeah. Both of them. Why? Because the new one isn't telling the other one that it needs to be Turn untoggled. Mm -hmm. Right? So what we need to do is we need to go through all of the categories and we need to make sure they're untoggled somehow. Mm. So... what would be the best option so there's the list of the category buttons uh, mm -hmm. you would need to go through all of them so when you set a category you could <coughs> excuse me <coughs> tell the button to be untoggled if it's toggled so one thing we could do is we could tell the this one to be public hide it in the inspector so just hide in the inspector yeah, there it is. Hit tab, save. All right. So when you set the category, depending on the category, well, we would need to do something with the buttons. So here you can say if open rank current category is not empty. No, 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 to banana. Oh, sorry. Okay, save. So, if current cat... Hmm, yeah, because that's already sorted. So, if current category is not empty, this means you've picked a category. Um, but you gotta be... We gotta be careful. Mm -hmm. Wait. I'm not happy. These are all public, so that's good, I guess. Um, but change highlight isn't. 
copy, paste, save. I've got a better idea. So instead of this, we should have some kind of like update button. Hmm. Your brother is distracting me now. <laughs> Him and his stupid tantrums. Okay, so wait a moment. Change highlight state. Um, if you make it public, then you simply can access it, and that's just fine. There is another way. There's another approach that we could do. So instead of doing this here, let's hovered or unhovered. So let's leave hovered alone. So every time you hover, it goes yellow. That's fine. We may actually have a different one later, but this one, save here real quick. And here, ask, poggled, question mark. Yeah. And here you can say, uh, copy this entire thing, paste it here, copy this, paste it here, save. So, that'll do. Now, for this one, it's fine. This is now unnecessary. Save. And change highlight state. We could simply say unhovered, but I don't like it. Um, uh, um, just leave it there. Uh, so it would be unhovered, but for the buttons, it isn't. Okay, so if current category, etc. Uh, go, ah, but we would need to be able to test this, damn it. So copy this, paste it here, save. Now here go four, four tab tab. And it's gonna be, copy this, paste it here, dot count, save. Here go if. Paste i dot id is not current category. Hit, hit tab, close round, open a squiggle. And now copy this uh, yeah. dot and it's, what was it? Hover, highlight, type highlight. I think it's highlight. There it is, change highlight state, open round, tab, dot, unhovered, yeah, semicolon. But we also need to tell it that it's going to be untoggled, so copy all of this, paste it here, dot toggled equals false. Semicolon. Okay. Not ideal, all of this, but it should be fine for our purposes at the moment. Now we're gonna, okay, so fruit, vegetables, fruit, vegetables. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not happy with this. Um, so when I click it, change state instead of, aha, uh -huh, we don't have one at all. Weirded out that it becomes green. Aha, uh -huh. there it is. What a potato. Cut this, paste it here, and save. So, change highlight state, it goes to button selected. No, we're gonna go to button hovered. Uh, so, copy this. Uh, well, actually, that kind of depends. Pins. Yeah, anyway, paste it here for now. Save. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to add a color and a highlight state. So go selected hovered. Save. Now we're just going to quickly add a color.cyan. And put four. Save. All right. Now this custom button, and here we're going to check if toggled, paste, copy, paste. So here you're going to say selected hovered. Just Sorry. SEL, there it is, selected hovered, and hovered. That's enough, just H was enough. Okay, and now copy all of this and paste it here. Save. Okay, now there's actually going to be a problem because that variable with the colors we just changed is only changed in the default value, not here. So we, we put a cyan, whatever, it's fine. Who cares? Right, so now the way it should work, fruit, it's going to, it's going to cyan. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I don't like the cyan, but it's, it's good as an example, right? Yeah. Etc. By the way, I found a new fruit, pomegranate. Okay, well, we can put it in in a second. Copy. Paste. Pomegranates. I don't think that's how you spell pomegranate, but maybe. Let's look it up. Type it here, as you have. Yeah, I was right. There's an extra E. Okay. Save. Okay, so that's good. Um, back to the custom button. All right, so this is done. This is done. This is done. All right, how much time do we have? Plenty. Another half hour. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to work on the last bit, which is the, the list. Now, the list is going to be a bit special. Uh, we're going to make it look more or less like a list. So it's going to be sort of like a piece of paper uh, or something like that, right? So let's go here. Your dumb brother just fell. He does that on the regular. So look for paper. Yeah, hit enter. Okay. And we're going to go to tools. Use it right for reuse with modification. Okay. And we just want... Normal paper. Yeah, some kind of paper. Like this one could be okay. Um, it bothers me that it's got the little lines because the lines, we can't really deal with them, you know. Uh, this looks pretty good. This looks fancy. This looks okay. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what? I thought I saw one. Maybe this one? Yeah, maybe. Uh, let's add something else. Type. T color. Transparent. That's what I want. Okay. Does that mean transparent? That the background is transparent. Oh. It's PNG. Um, we'll find something. It's just a matter of time. Stuff that isn't very messy. It just looks like a normal sheet of paper that is right in the middle of the screen. That's what we want. Something akin to this, but not quite. Um, there was a clipboard with some normal white paper on yeah, it. Yeah, the clipboard though is a pain in the butt because of other reasons. <laughs> it's a clipboard, clipboard, it's got all of these other parts to it which we don't necessarily want. Uh, needs to be something simple. Ah, that's not terrible. But it's checked. It's checkered, yeah. Oh, and it's fully tried. Well, it's okay, we can add stuff there if we want to. That's not that bad. Um, Yeah, that's not bad also. 
Yeah. It's just really bent and weird, so it would be kind of an issue. This one's not bad. Huh? This just generic clipboard? Are we about it? What? Are we okay with it? Yes. I don't know. Yeah. I was done. Too much detail. Your daddy's difficult. Who's this one? I saw one that was absolutely white. Oh, oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> I didn't see the it's not your images fault. there. It's not your fault. It's just crazy, the way it was. Um, okay. Uh, so there's this clipboard Maybe here. Maybe just white. I saw something that said just white. Where? There. Yeah, well, we lose some of our filters though, and then you need to buy them. Oh. You know, just wait a second, we'll, we'll find something, we'll find something. This one's not that bad. It's got this little line, but then we need to worry about these things, it's frigging annoying. <laughs> this grid is not terrible, but it is grid. Let's give it another quick sweep. If we find something that's close enough, we're gonna pick that. I mean, it doesn't need to be particularly pretty, right? It's just generic art, but it is helpful visually. I'm sure it is going to be. So, could we just make our own? We could. Own gimp, just splap a thing with white. I'm uh, sure. At that point, it's going to be identical to a white square. That doesn't particularly help. Having a few details will be useful. Oh. Um. So I'm going to remove the filter transparent here because this one has narrowed down our search quite a bit and we've we've got worse worse results. See this is not bad. I mm -hmm. think we can go with this. So copy image. Now launch GIMP here and we'll wait a bit. Like the fact there's a different color, I think is going to be helpful. So paste it. All right, now let's see what the situation is here. There is a white edge on top, don't know why. And at the bottom, I guess we are okay. Small so, brown edge. The brown is fine, it's the white that bothers me. And I can see some of it down here too. So we're gonna grab from here to here, but I don't think it's straight, I thought so. So it's not straight. This is fine. Down here, see this white? I want that gone. Yeah. So we are going to grab the smudger and smudge it out. There you go. So, and for up here, smudger may not be the most effective tool, but it might work okay. There we go. And because it's marked with to reuse with modification, we can do whatever we want with this. Yeah. Legally. Okay. So the one issue with the smudging is that it's actually... Ah, no, because it's not transparent, it'll be fine. Never mind. I thought it wouldn't be... It would move alpha around and that would be ugly. Right, so there goes this. There goes this. Oh, it's good fun. You should try it. Mm -hmm. it's, I was laughing because of the boringness of this. Of the boredom. The boredom. Yes. Of the monotony. It's not that bad. I'll be done soon. See? Yeah. Uh, the end of the page. And there you go. You can't even tell it's there. Uh, one thing we may also want to consider possibly is just giving it a uh, sort of rounded edge. And I'm not sure. I think this is fine. Uh, uh, it's purely um, aesthetic anyway. So hold Control and Shift and E. And we need to create a folder, call it Sprites. Show in Explorer. Double click it, copy, pasta. And now here you can type 
page.png. Done. How large is this? It's fine. Okay, so now page.png will appear here. And it, it doesn't need any special special treatment of any kind. So here we're gonna create a image, which we're gonna fit to everything. Is the list already fit into everything? Uh, well, no, it's in a list, so it's fine. Uh, I think the grocery is in and of itself. Aha, uh -huh, has no padding and no spacing. So we're gonna do 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, just like the other one. So mm. even the lists are separated, everything is 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And there's the list. And here we're gonna put the page. And that's how it's going to look like. Very basic for now, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. Let's quickly check it out. Right? And then the deal is you click on limes and the limes appear. And we need pineapples. Alright. Need the pineapples. Why do you only remember useless things? Sorry. <laughs> Fine. Copy this. We are making a grocery list. We are making a grocery list. Pineapples. Save. Oops. Okay, now we've got the list here. Now what we need is inside this image, call this one BG, capitals. Uh, and now we're gonna need um, the actual elements of the list. And they're gonna have to have titles as well. So some kind of like group and then the group in and of itself will have a certain amount of things in it. Okay. I'm thinking here for a second. I think it's going to be various text elements, text objects, um, of various kinds. I'm thinking. Okay, so here uh, in the BG, you can copy this component and paste component is new. So we have a vertical layout group. These spacings may all be wrong, uh, left, right, etc. We'll figure it out later. So that's the BG. Then there's going to be an element and that's going to be empty. And we're going to call this one category. Yeah. And then inside the category, there's going to be paste component as new and inside the category there's going to be a title so it's going to be UIT text text mesh pro call this one text underscore title mm -hmm. hit enter and that's going to be the title and then duplicate the title and call this one item All right, so top left is fine. What the item needs to have though, is it needs to have some kind of margin to the left. So something like 50 margin from the left is probably okay. Um, now one thing, we may actually change this particular font. Drop shadow, outline. Oh, we already had one with outline, dang it. <laughs> we changed the default one. It's fine. Who cares? These are just names. Uh, I think you can actually keep adding as many as you want. So the color of this one's going to be black. And we're also going to tell it that the font size is going to be a bit bigger. We should also auto size. So let's go auto size on both. And for the title, we're going to go to a maximum of 25. No, it's too little. Uh, let's go 64. Oof, too big. 32. 32 is going to be too small. 48. Okay, that's good. And a minimum, whoops, and a minimum of uh, 24. And text item is going to have a maximum of 24. It's too little. 32. And a minimum of 16. Let's do that. Now, the item is also going to have the outline. Hey, I thought. Oh, I see. Um, no outline. We can dilate it a bit, just like that. Point three. We may even change the font later. It's fine. 
that's sufficient for now. Uh, wait a moment, I do want an outline. Point three, and the outline should be black. So this one should be a bit smaller. Try and change the color to something else. So, okay. Hmm. I know likey. Okay, that's pretty good. We could just use a different color for highlighting things later, if mm -hmm. necessary. Okay, so this text item, I want it to be a prefab. Okay. Uh, it will have to have some kind of index, maybe. Some kind of ID. But that's fine. I think we can probably just go and find the child. So probably nothing. So let's just drag it in here and that's it. Now we're going to delete it from here. And the category, uh, add the word list in front with a capital L. No need. Uh, there. List category. So this one also gets populated in the BG of the list. So. The list container has a BG inside it. Now, if I recall correctly, our list container is set up. Oh, it's serialized field list container. So here's this list. Put the word list in front here. Capital L. Yeah. So the list BG is actually our container. Boom. Now, for this one, we need to sort of add and remove things from uh, the list. Uh, set category clear items, okay. Now, public void. And let's go with set item. Open around string, no, string. Oh, darn it, let's not call it i, call it item equals nothing. Close around, open a squiggle, open energy twice. Yeah. Hit control R twice in this C. And call it category. Yeah. So we don't get confused. Alright, set item. Why is it unhappy here? Ooh, hello. That's why it's unhappy. Uh oh. Um now let's see how set category works so there's a current category uh there's an okay we need to add a list of items that is going to exist uh now for this these items they should be subdivided into the categories themselves mm -hmm. uh, so i need to think for a second so it would probably have to be a dictionary basically identical to the database dictionary in terms of how it's structured um, yeah that's what we'll need in that case we can just go to our database and nick it so copy this and this will be in state paste it here make it private and call it dictionary list with a capital L which is a bit weird <laughs> dictionary list <laughs> All right, safe. Yeah. Um, so the dictionary list needs to be created at the beginning so somewhere here we're gonna go create void 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 banana void create uh, groceries list Yeah. Open close round and open a squiggle. Okay. And we're also gonna want the clear void clear grocery list. List. Save. Alright. Um copy. Go if is not null. Uh, 
uh, open. Actually, I meant is no, but all right, my bad. Copy, paste equals new. Let's tab. Uh, open close around and go. And uh, paste dot clear. Open close around semicolon. Is this correct? Yes. Oh. What bothers you? I thought it was a dictionary in s with a list inside of it. I thought it might have gotten mistaken by this one. It's a it's a dictionary with a string as a key and a list as an element. Oh yeah, now I get it. Copy. It has lists inside it. Paste it. Open close around semicolon. All right. So the first thing you do is clear when you create, and now we need to create a list based on the other dictionary. So you're gonna say for each tab tab. Now we've already done this somewhere else. I think it's in the create categories. There it is. Copy all of this. Paste it here. Save. Uh, you're going to say copy this, paste, add, dot add, open round, and now it wants a string and then a list. So you're going to say k.key, comma, new, space tab, open close round, close round, semicolon. So now you got a new list of, 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 of this stuff, and this is perfectly fine. So copy create version list. And we are going to paste it here, open close round. Actually, no, this is the wrong place. Cut. Here. Yeah. Save. All right, so the dictionary with the stuff is being created. That's fine. Now for set item, we are going to have to check if the list that we've already done contains that particular item. Okay, so wait, 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 it's not that simple. So we're going to have to say, and wait, we also need to know the current category, which we do know. Okay, so you're going to say, if dict list, I think it's called. Yeah, dict list. No, wait a moment, stop pressing things. Square bracket, it's current category. Close square dot. We also need a list inside this. Hey. We have a string in the list. Yeah, close the square bracket. Dot. Uh, contains. I uh, open round item. Close round. Close round again. Open a squiggle. You have to twice close. So if the dictionary already contains. For example, lime, right? If the if the dictionary of fruit already contains lime, we want to remove lime from the um, from the text that exists in the list. And see, that's where I expected the issue to come, because we are not going to know which of the items is marked as. as that button unless and that would do okay we have a dictionary of the buttons because each button could have its ID excuse me not buttons but texts each text could have its ID right so you could put the text and add it with that ID and it needs to go into a certain list but then it would be a child of a certain category that would need to exist. Do you know what? I think I've got a better idea that I'm sure is going to work. Instead of us worrying about removing one thing or adding one thing, what we're going to do is we're going to rebuild the entire list every time. Okay. Right, so let's only worry about the theoretical stuff at the moment. So if it contains this item, what we're gonna do is we're gonna re remove it. So copy this, paste it, remove, open round item, item, close round, semicolon, else, 
open right opens quickly rather copy all of this change the word remove for add paste first add. and now we need to create a new method called update list grocery list so void update grocery list open close round open a squiggle yeah. and copy this to here semicolon and let's copy this as well and paste it here save extra semicolons for, for good measure so we'll worry about this in a moment uh, actually we should worry about that right now I think because there's nothing really else to do other than that uh, I suppose we could tell this guy to set the item so here you would say oh we could use toggled here as well huh Hmm. Copy all of this, paste it here for now, and change set item, and it's already correct. Save. So let's leave it at this for now. Now in the app manager, when you set the item, we need to then upgrade the grocery list. And for this, it's going to be a for each. So let's just copy this entire thing, paste it here. Copy this and paste it here. Save. So we're going to go through all of these. Well, one thing that needs to be done is we need to clear the list. Clear grocery list. So this is a problem because this one is clearing the grocery list in the sense that it's clearing the theoretical list, not the one that's on display. So um, create a void and change this and add the word display here. Copy this, paste it here. And there should be one more, I think. There's set item here. Save, okay. And void a clear grocery list display. Laziness is kicking in. That's good. I like that. Open close right, open a squiggle and place. So what we need to do here is we need to go and completely delete everything that exists inside the uh, list object. So inside this list BG. Right? Mm -hmm. um, is there an intelligent way to do it? Probably. Well, there's a few things we need to do first. Number one, we're going to need a category oh and the category that we have saved this list category should probably have a script yeah it should have a script shouldn't it? Uh, because it's got a text so you would need to tell it I don't know how necessary that is we could just edit it while we build it I think that would be probably better yeah it's fine so under structure copy this public game object button template I don't know why that's public actually copy the serialize field and put it over top save yeah, exactly copy both this yeah and paste it here and here save and go grocery list display display category template <laughs> easy temple cake and copy this entire thing paste it and change this to item now copy equals default pasta 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 save okay so now we've got these items and we can construct them on the fly but first we need to also completely clear them so it would be for each game object except the one that already exists. So that's annoying. Copy this and here go for each and hit tab tab. Tab tab. 
Okay, that was lucky. Uh, and it would be game object go in list children. Get components in children of type transform. Well. Oh, I mistyped. Transform. So not game object, but rather transform T. So here then you're going to say if open RAM T is not list container. So copy this, paste it, close, open, yeah, close, save. You're gonna say in hmm. I hope it's not recurring. Could be. Maybe it's the direct child. No, it should be fine, I think. But uh, I don't know. Let's hope it's fine. Um, but you know what? We'll be much safer if we just create a silly, super stupid script that acts as an identifier. Yeah, let's do that. So let's create a silly script. Call this one uh, grocery list list category. Yeah, hit enter. And now let's open it. It's going to be very, very simple. Uh, does it even need anything? I don't think so. I mean, we could set it up. Save. Save. Yeah, I think it could be useful to have that. But not really. No, yeah, we're gonna leave it like this. It's literally, it's literally just gonna be this. Uh, and in the prefabs, in the list category, we're gonna add the component. Uh, type, add, don't type anything. There. We're gonna add the grocery list category. And so instead of searching for transform, we're gonna go for grocery list category. So go grocery list category. It's just there. There it is. Copy this, paste it here, call it GLC. Copy this, paste it here, dot transform. Ah, uh, no, it's th we don't even need this test anymore. Save. And we're gonna say copy this and go destroy. Open RAM dot, no, no, dot game object. Yeah. Semicolon. Try here save okay so there it grew it clears the grocery list display so copy all of this paste it here semicolon save okay so for each category and we're gonna check that it's not empty so copy this paste it here and uh, you go sorry ham fisted <laughs> okay if open if if Open round, paste. Uh, wait, no, it's K rather. If K dot value dot count higher than zero, higher than zero, zero. Close round, open the squiggle. So if there's something to add, we need to instantiate one of these category uh, list display category tem template. So copy this and paste it here for now. Now when we create the category, you want to copy all of this, paste it here, and cut this, paste it here, and say list container. There's the one. Uh, not get component custom button. That's nothing. So we're just going to add it like this for now. And here you're gonna say game object geo geo semicolon copy paste equals save. So that's the game object that we now know is going to be our parent. Hmm, change this to transform and call it container. 
container copy r copy paste dot transform that's it save so this is going to be our container for now and now we need to go through each of the values that are in our list and we need to put them in that list one thing when we set an item at the moment it's just being added we're not actually sorting the list so we probably should sort the list when we add something okay okay so copy all of this wait now do it yep. paste it sort capital s missing she doesn't know the difference between shift and between done save shift and control very mm -hmm. different keys all right so that's done uh, I'm only doing it here because when you remove the sorting will remain valid uh, it doesn't matter where you remove from so there's the container we've got the container we've instantiated the container as well now we need to go through the loop so go for tab tab sorry that's right and you're gonna go through k dot values dot count values dot count use the tab key Zoe yeah, it doesn't work because values doesn't exist. Value tab dot C tab. <laughs> it's like you need to write one letter or like two. So uh, for a little bit. Okay, k dot value dot count. That's good. Now we need to instantiate all of them and make them children of the container. We're also going to have to change their text. So we should do that right now. So copy container. Perfect. Copy container, paste, dot, find, open round, quote, wait, I don't remember. So in prefabs, list category has a text title. Copy this. Paste here, close round. I mean, close quote first thing. Yeah. No. That would be a stupid line. What what does that line do? Nothing. Yeah. Correct. Therefore, if don't put a semicolon put it if it doesn't do anything. Right? We need to do something. So we need to get its text. So get component, and it's called I think text mesh pro GUI. Yeah. Now you can't find it because it's not, not here. Not using it. That's right. So. Copy this and paste it here. Save. So TM Pro Ugui. Close of type. Open close round. Dot. No. That will still not do anything. Dot. Set text. Open round. And it's going to be K dot key. Close round. Semicolon. Okay. So that would be for example fruit so the title would say fruit and that's fine now here we need to instead so copy all of this paste it here copy container paste it here this change to item with a capital i copy all of this paste it here save and instead of k dot key, it would be k dot value i. Save. And I think this would work. I'm not certain, but I think it will work. Save. So one more thing actually we're going to just remove this toggled here save all right save again here it didn't save apparently hey are you pressing control s or something yes yeah well it's still oh because we're in prefab view that's better i don't want that asterisk there okay so fruit apples boink Unassigned reference. Oh yeah, because we completely forgot to tell it, hey, these things. Yeah, so list category 
and text item. All right. All right, try this again. Hello, apples, fruit, apples, vegetables, broccoli, meats, chicken breast, and wieners, and then more mushrooms. These, 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 these. So this is not bad. The thing that obviously bothers me, in, and now if we click on pairs again, the pairs go away. Now, the, the thing that obviously bothers me about this is the fact that it's resizing everything vertically in that way. Uh, now, there should be a few options there. So in the list BG, perhaps we can tell it, don't control the height. And don't force expand the height. And for these, don't force expand the height. So let's see how this works. Aha. Yeah. That's a bit better. It's not perfect. Boink. All right. So some some stuff went right, some stuff went wrong. So I think the only thing we need to do is tell this one not control, not force expand the height. And I think it'll be okay. Let's take a look. Fruit. Okay, so this is already looking pretty good. Now vegetables. So the fact that it's kind of shifting up, it's fine, right? As long as it's sort of semi-acceptably close to one another, right? Mm -hmm. Now let's keep adding veggies, broccoli, cabbages, carrots, etc., and see how it behaves when it starts squeezing everything, right? So cucumbers, garlic, lettuce, onions, peppers, potatoes, radishes, spinach, tomatoes, yams, zucchini. So I've put them all in the fruits, Melons, oranges, pears, pie, pears, pineapples, pomegranates, raspberries, strawberries, watermelons. So as you can see, when the list starts becoming a little bit too populated, too much stuff is there, and it's kind of difficult to read. Now, there's various ways in which we can approach this. We'll do this next time, obviously, because we're running out of time. But one way in which we can approach this is make this a scrollable list. Uh, we could possibly start populating it into two columns. Yeah, or right. maybe even three, because we could go to this readable size. We could probably put three in there. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, there's kind of lots of ways of going about this. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty good spot to be in. Uh, we will take it from here next time. One thing we're definitely going to do is we're going to do something about this uh, no. page. I'd like to, to just have the page. The, 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 actually, tell you what, let's, let's fix that right now. We can fix it real quick. So we're going to go to sprites and open the page, which directly opens into GIMP. And what we're going to do is we're going to immediately select resize. We're going to keep the ratio, drag it up a bit. No. And drag it down a bit. And hit scale. Perfect. And file overwrite. And there. Much better. Yes. A little bit more tidy. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look half bad in the end of the day, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we're, I mean, we're proceeding. We're proceeding pretty good. Now, one thing I'm noticing is we're not getting a bit of uh, margin here. And that's because it's different structurally than the other one. There. Now it matches everything else. So we're actually going to do that too. And, yeah, we're going to leave it here. We're going to thank everybody for watching. And we will see you again next time where we are going to work on more functionality i um, mean yeah i think that the list actually is probably in a decent spot at the moment i don't know that we'll go and fiddle with that information so mm. we'll probably leave it as it is one thing where we need to do is we need to allow for the addition of new um categories the addition of new items right this means that uh, we're going to need a saving system and then the final thing we are going to need is some kind of way of sending an email, which is something I still need to do research into. 
But anyway, we're close to basically almost being done with this little software, right? Wow, it's fast. Well, you know, if you work well and you know what you're doing, it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Bye. See ya.